Hey everybody, Don with Brazian Tone Works, and today we want to talk about a four-way Telecaster switch mod that you can do, and it's going to add one more pickup configuration, this being the neck and bridge uh, wired together in series. Uh, gives you a little bit more oomph, a little bit slightly different tone than you would get from your traditional Telecaster neck and bridge uh, pickup, which is wired in parallel. So looking at the screen, this should look like what your Telecaster probably has going for it right now, unless you've done some mods. Uh, this is the standard three-way Telecaster wiring. Uh, what we're going to do is, as always, strip this down, uh, replace a couple of the parts, explain to you the correct way to wire this up, and show you what the uh, end-up combinations look like. So here you're taking a look at the uh, components that you have, obviously keeping the same uh, pickups, uh, pots. Most people use the 250K pots for the uh, Telecaster, same as you would with the Strat. Uh, personal preference, if you want to go uh, different, you can. Uh, you got your jack, you've got your ground, and you've got a four-way switch. So this is different. You can't use the existing switch that you have. You do have to actually go out and purchase a four-way switch. It is actually going to include two more lugs uh, to accomplish the four-way switching. For clarity's sake, I want to go over how I identify the lugs on the pots as well as the lugs on the switch, just so everybody's understanding and using the same terminology. These are not, you know the gospel you don't have to refer to everything this way it's just how i do it so don't yell at me if you think of them differently on the pots i use them left to right l1 l2 l3 l2 is obviously the center uh, one is to the left um third one is obviously to the right if you flip the pot over uh, you'll see that the lugs obviously change positions but we're going to call them the same on the switch itself the left side is going to be A1 through 5, and the right side will be B1 through 5. So when I'm referring to wiring, I'm going to indicate, you know, take ground wire and go to, you know, A2 or B3 or something like that. So at least you understand exactly my nomenclature. To do this mod, if you have a neck pickup that has a cover on it, that cover is currently grounded, and it's actually connected on the back of the pickup if you flip it over. You'll see a wire from uh, the, the loophole where the uh, pickup wires are coming out, and it's actually grounded. You actually need to s sever that, cut that little piece, and you're going to add your own wire to it. I do that with yellow. just makes it easier to, uh, to identify, especially in the schematics I'm doing here. So it's really important. If you have a cover on your neck pickup, you have to flip it over, find out where that chassis ground is. You actually have to break that connection and rewire that pickup with a different colored cable so that you can identify it. It is important to do that in order to make this modification work. Okay, so to get started, here's our traditional setup, all of our uh, components. First thing we do as always is we set up the ground. We ground the two pots together and we ground from one of the pots to your bridge uh, grounding lug, with what, however you happen to have that in your uh, particular guitar. We can then put in the capacitor. Basically, we are going from lug two of the tone pot to lug number three of the volume pot. And it is important to note that the volume pot, lug number three, there is actually grounded to the top of the chassis. Make sure that that is that way. If you started with an existing Telecaster, that pot should already be grounded. If not, you do need to ground lug number three to the top of your chassis um, to support this. Next, we'll do the output. You're going to take one wire from lug number two or the center wire of your volume pot and bring that down to your um, tip of the, uh, the jack. And then you actually have to take a ground and obviously go to the ring portion of the jack. So then you should have your output jack all wired up. From there, we start with uh, some of the wiring of the pots. Basically, we're going to take lug number one of the volume and wire that to lug number three of the tone pot. I showed that here in green, and you can use whatever color you want to do. We're then going to take lug number one, and we're going to go to B3 on the switch. You'll see that here in green as well. So we're going to go from lug number one of the volume and go to B3 on the switch. Next, we need to go from A4 on the switch down to B5. So small little jumper cable. You can use whatever you, you'd like, but we need to go from A4 down to B5. After that, we're going to go from A2 to A3. Again, use a small little jumper cable if you have one. And then we also need to do from B2 to B3. Then we need to go from A3 to ground. 
So we can ground that to the top of the volume pot. So your basic configuration for your switch should look like this at this point. Again, use the green wires on the schematic here to show how you're coming from the pots to the switch. The switch wires, you can use small pieces of uh, wire itself if you have it, old uh, guitar strings, sometimes that's what I use. Just make sure they're obviously not touching any of the other lugs. You tend to run into a small problem there. Next, we're going to start wiring the pickups, and we're going to start with the neck. Uh, your pickup wires might be different. Check the manufacturer's specs on those. I'm going to use what I'm used to and familiar with. Uh, the white, in my case, is the hot. So we are going to take that and wire that to lug number B2 on our switch. Once we have that in place, we are going to take the black wire, and that's going to go to lug number A5 on our switch. Now, providing that you did what I explained earlier about severing the chassis ground for the pickup cover, if you have a neck pickup that has a cover, you would take the yellow cable, or whatever you happen to wire it with, and run that to the ground. Now, if you're having a neck pickup that does not have a cover, you're only going to have a hot and a, uh, a negative wire anyways. Uh, you don't have to worry about grounding. This is only if you actually have a cover on your neck pickup. Moving on to the bridge pickup, you can see we're going to take the hot or the white wire here and go to lug number B1 of the switch. Then we're going to take the ground and go to the top of our volume pot. I use the top of the volume pot as the overall ground for the entire schematic. You might have chosen the tone pot. doesn't really matter as long as it, uh, you tend to do that and not create a ground loop. At this point, we are done with the wiring. You've got what most would consider a traditional four-way Telecaster uh, wired up. The way the uh, switch is going to work, in the far position, you're going to just have the bridge 